Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome to Cardi Made It. So in today's video, I will do my very first review because I do want to start doing a review video. Um, I'm actually trying to organize my closet, my shoe closet. I have a closet in my home that I have converted into a shoe closet. And so, yeah, so this is going to be my first review video. I purchased the stackable shoe box from Amazon. It is a 12 pack. So I'm just going to put this together for y'all and let you know how I feel, you know, first impressions and everything. So if you're interested in seeing that, stay tuned. So yeah, I did order this through Amazon Prime. So it came in like a day or so, a day or two after I ordered. Um, it said it's superior quality, stackable design, waterproof and easy to clean. The dimensions of this is 14 and a half by 13 and a half by four and a half. Um, I'm not good with dimensions, so do with that what you want. This is what the inside looks like. Let's take it out of the plastic. I guess these are little doors. The little front and back. I guess it's going to open like a little door. And I guess, so I guess these here front are the fronts. And then these white ones are the back. Are there any instructions? Have I thrown out the instructions? Oh, there they are. Make sure I have everything. Alright, so I got six of the white rectangles and I got I got I mean I got twelve. It was six and six in the pack together. So I have twelve of these little door thingies. Got 12 more of the little white thingies. So this is what comes with it. It says shoe boxes, clear stackable, ventilation system, large front door, sturdy stackable, stackable transparency ventilation, waterproof. And on the back of that paper is the assembly instruction. It says one mold the plastic body into shape. So here's my plastic bodies. So you mold them into shape. Okay. Pinch them like that. Pinch them like that. So I pinched. I'm just going around and pinching the corners together kind of all right after you do that you want to fold the front four flaps in and then the next step is to fold the rear four flaps in so it's pointing to these little thingies so oh it's kind of fold that in Let in.
All right. So these are just the little things that were sticking out, and I just folded them in with these little plastic bits right here. Then it says to. Well, it don't tell you what to do. It's just got a picture. Can you see that? Hold on. See, it don't even tell you what to do. It just demonstrates it in the picture. But yeah, it wants you to put the back on. And when you hear a click sound, that means it's done. So, I'm just going to take this white piece right here. into the grooves of the little square and it is clicking now then I'll take these ones right here so in these little rectangles they have the grooves right here and I'm just sticking the plastic parts on the inside of the grooves So at first it does look. So when you put this up to here, it does look almost as if it's too big. So that's where you have to, you know, kind of push it in. There. Click. Yeah, I heard it. It clicked now. Say when it clicked, I mean it done. Whew, okay. Finally. So here's what it looks like when it's put together. So this is what it looks like. You open the front. Uh oh, my back up. Okay. Stick your shoes in. So what I'm gonna do is put the rest of them together. See how long it takes me. What time is it? It is 12.27 a.m. <laughs> yeah, it's 12.27 a.m. So what I'm gonna do is see how long it takes me to put all 12 of them together. I'm sure it gets easier as you go. As you put more, I'm sure it gets easier the more that you put together.
So I am on my last box, as you can see. Um, and I'm gonna show y'all how to put it together again, I guess. Um, so my first impression of these stack of boxes, um, they're not what I would call sturdy at all. Like my definition of sturdy is something else. Um, will they hold up? Sure. But do not lay anything on top of them other than another box with shoes <laughs> because it's gonna come come down. On, I'm almost positive. It's um let me see. They have to get on the floor. So it's made out of some type of you know harder plastic. It's Flimsy, but it's not, you know, that flimsy. Like, it got a little thickness to it. It's not as thin as a sheet of paper or anything like that. It's like hard stock. I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to explain. It's it's flimsy, but it's not that flimsy. And when you put the the front and back on, it makes it a little bit better. Um, yeah. So. This is how it comes. Now, all you have to do is push it together like this and find the corners. Because it has two corners that's already molded. You have to mold the other two corners. So you would just press it together like this. And I just take my finger and go down like, like this to crease it. Yeah, you, you got to help the crease crease more. And then you have this other side. Now what is annoying, other than these little flakes on it that didn't come off of my floor. I don't know what this is. So I got like little flakes on it, but that's annoying. And it's, it's just, mm. Now what's annoying is when you do this side, this little thing right here pops up. So this is what you use to stack them. This and then it has a little slit right here. But I'm not gonna stack mine like that. It's not that deep for me. I'm just gonna lay them on top of each other. So, yeah, when you crease this side, this keeps popping up and that is annoying. But this is the easier part. So now you have creased all the sides. You have this nice rectangle. Now you see these, these right here? You just bend them inward. And it's eight in total that you will bend inward for on each side. So after you have all those little flaps right here folded inward, one, two, three, four, and then four on this side as well. You take, I did the back first on all the ones I did. I did the back parts first. Where was this packed at? Ugh. All right, so you have the grooves that's like in between. You're gonna stick this part in between this part. So what I, what, it gets easier as you keep doing them, but I just would put it, I do one side first and make sure it's in there. And then it click, and once you hear that click, then you do the other side. And it click, click, click. So it click. You got your four clicks, it's, it's on there. It's good to go. Four clicks. That's not going nowhere. Yeah. So like on a scale from paper to concrete, it's like a, a four, three point five. Um, what I was doing at first was opening the door and put it down, but it's easier to keep the door closed. So keep the door closed and put the front on just like you did the back. And I always turned it so that, I don't know if it's the right way to do it, but it, like the door opens on the right side. Otherwise, well, you can, you can do either way, left or right. I prefer to open my doors like this rather than this, if that makes sense. But you can put it on like this. I don't know. So you could put it on like this and open your door like this. 
or you can put it on like this and open the door like this. And I prefer to open my door like this. That's just me. But yeah, you do the same thing. Keep your four side. Put your in one end. Put it in one end like that. Got a click. Then I put the other end in. In in. <laughs> Just took a used to. I can probably do this. Click, click, click. You got four clicks. Like I said, I wouldn't put nothing heavy on top of this. Only thing I put on top of this is another shoe box that has shoes in it. Cause either way, cause it don't take much to, you know squish it down if I actually put some pressure on this I could probably make it pop out of place so I have put all 12 together all right so this is what all 12 of them look like full and simple now I'm gonna actually go put them in my closet and see how that looks for me oh by the way I was technically it's 107 now so it it, if I hadn't cut on the camera and found me something to watch on TV, I say assembly of all 12 takes 30 minutes or less. So it definitely isn't a time consuming project. So here's my shoe closet. Um, it's a mess. <laughs> yeah, it's a mess right now. So right now I just have a bunch of shoe boxes. Uh, I hate throwing away shoe boxes as you can see, but I guess I'm going to go ahead and throw them away since I have these clear containers and I can kind of just, you know, open the door and see what's in them. So, um, one of the determining factors on if I'm going to buy more of these shoe organizers is if I could fit, um, stack two on top of each other within the closet and if they, if my shoes actually fit into the little organization thingy. Um, I wear a size 11, 10 and a half, 11. Um, just opinions, so let's see. So my first step is gonna be clearing out this whole closet. So let me get started. Got an Xbox up there, some winter boots. Yeah, got a vapor rug with it. What is that down there? I got a foot massager down there. Yeah. So this is going to be one of my first determining factors and that is if I can stack them on top of each other within each shelf. It looks like it's going to be a tight fit. thumbs up so um, look at these these are so pretty these are the shoes that I walked down the aisle in and I'm definitely gonna put try to put these in here so you just open the door I guess this is kind of like a second impression what I don't like about these they are not stable so it don't take much to knock it around so I do hate that but 
maybe when I finish. I'm pretty sure only one more will be able to fit on this shelf, but I'll see. Cause I don't have much room, so I think only one more. If I can maybe find something to go on the side to push it kind of like in the towards the middle a little bit better, because this little part right here, and you can see on this side, this part right here that holds the next shelf up, it stops it from lining up with the wall. So I can't line them up with the wall. So maybe I can find something that's like maybe a half inch thick to stop, to push this kind of like towards the middle. But yeah, I have, so this is a nice size heel and it does fit my 11. Let me zoom in so y'all can see. That is an 11. I don't know if it's focused, but you should be able to see. Yeah, so that is an 11. My shelf isn't quite as long as the storage box. So it is a little overlap when it comes to the, the shoe box hanging over the shelf. So maybe like an inch or so, it does hang off, but it's not enough to make it want to tip over. So that's cool. But yeah, it's just not as stable as I would like it to be, but it's okay. I'm just gonna finish what I can and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so these say that they are at nine, but they are nine in men, which makes them an 11 in women. I think an eight is a 10 and a half, something like that, yeah. I think I'm right. But look, y'all. In there. Now, I'm gonna turn it the way I got everybody else to turn. Look, y'all, it, it fits. It freaking fits in there. And I think that is the dopest thing that these big old shoes can fit in here. Oh yeah, this is a win for me. Like I would definitely buy 12 more and fill up these other two shins that I have and figure out a situation for the floor after we get flooring put in. But yeah, this is a W for me. And it closes just fine. All right, so this is what I ended up with. Um, I kind of underestimated the number of shoes that I have. Cause I have so much more than this. Um, this is really nothing. I kind of just really underestimated this. But I have a shoe carousel in another closet, and I'm gonna put all my flats in the shoe carousel. So this closet is gonna be for boots, heels, um, anything that remotely looks like a tennis shoe, which I don't have much of. And so yeah, that's what this closet right here is for. Um, so I do like. The little shoe organizer. I do wish that it was a little more sturdy. You know, see, I'm me trying to open it with one hand, it's gonna move. But yeah, it's real cute. I can see the shoes that's inside the box. Um, I had a couple that did not fit, so I have shoes that have very tall backs on them. So like this shoe, it's not fitting in there on no day of the week. So I can just turn it sideways. Turn it sideways like this. Throw that buckle in there and close it like that. I wish you, I, yeah. So, I definitely recommend buying this if, you know, you don't care about sturdiness. You just want organization for the most part. So that's really, I think they're cool, real neat, not that um, expensive. It's 40 for all 12 of these, a little less than 40. I think it came out to over 40 with the tax. I am gonna put some type of shelving up there where my boots are, because I have more boots. Those are just the boots that I had out in this closet. Um, I have my Clarks, some pumps, some heels. Um, I have 
two tennis shoes that I wear on a more of a leisure other than the Brooks that I have on my feet. Those are probably, you know, my only other two shoes. I have some Vans in here and they'll probably go into the other closet. The shoes that I wore for my wedding, my other clear heels that I wore, these orange and green heels that I recently purchased, and then everything else in here is stuff I don't wear, haven't worn yet. I have my um, Brooks that I used to wear all the time in my new Brooks box. So yeah. And the rest of the shoes, they don't have a box. So I just have to put them on my little carousel um, in my closet. Um, so yeah, I wanted to come give y'all more of a close up into the closet. If I wanted to slide this set down and put two more on these shelves, I could. So a total of eight could fit on each shelf. Yeah. So I think that's dope. It just won't look right because of this little thing. It's going to make it all centered, you know. So if you want something, you know, aesthetically appealing, this will work. But I'm going more for functionality. So I'm definitely going to order more and put eight per shelf. That's what's going to work for me. So yeah, if you're interested in purchasing this, check the description box below. And thank you so much for watching.